from Slam with Skip, and today we're taking the yak out. I don't know if you can tell, but it's pretty windy right now, um, so it's going to be interesting to say the least. I got a game plan. I came out here the other day, did all right, caught eight fish, two pike, six bass in about three hours. Let me show you what we're going to do though. So just beyond the trees over there, there's a cutout, and uh, there's a whole bunch of trees along that shoreline there. It's gonna block out the wind for us and keep it nice and calm. Coast along nice and slow over there. Oh yeah, surprise, got a new kayak. What up? Hooked it up. Um, got some nice oars that kind of match it pretty nicely. Hooked up a phone mount there. Got my pliers, scale, glasses. Got my soft plastics up in here. Um, I keep my two tackle boxes on the sides there. My dry bag for my keys and my wallet. My phone and all that. Life jacket on the back. A couple of rod holders. It's pretty nice. All right. Let's do it. And there goes everything. <laughs> all right, that's a little more better. Got the beats going. That wind is whipping. Once we get on the other side of that cut, there we'll be fine. Skipped it on the land. Got one. Cast it on the land. Ended up, oh my gosh, it feels like a decent one. He's coming right at me. Whoa. Not a bad one, little guy, but uh, woo, he's full of energy. Look at that, jeez OP. Oh, he's biting down. Dude, you're strong. You're angry, dude. This guy's pissed off. That's all right. I'm gonna clean him up a little bit, give him a dip. We'll give her a check. Keeping her in the water while I'm getting the scale ready. Hello. One pound, 12 ounces. We'll see you later, girl. Go on. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that fish was sitting right over here. Right up on shore, tucked away like that. Can't resist that black and blue jig, you know? That was a cool first catch. I'd love to stay at this spot, but we're just getting blown around. We can do what we gotta do, and that's what we're gonna do. I've got a whole new respect for people who do this. This is not easy, let me tell you. So if anybody's wondering why I have my hand wrapped, I was doing dishes the other day at my house and uh, I dropped a glass dish and it broke as, as I was trying to catch it, like it hit the counter at the same time as I was grabbing it and uh, gouged my hand pretty good. It took a while for it to stop bleeding actually, but um, I'm all good now. Ooh, scraping on rocks down here. Oh man, I had a bite right there. Let's see if he wants it again. So I missed another one. Got him. Oh, he spit it. Son of a gun. Shoot, missed another. That's two in one minute. <laughs> and this wind is pushing me. No wind, I wanted to stay there. Thing is, that was my fault. I forgot to reset my drag after my last backlash. And uh, he got a little bit too much of it. He sensed the freedom and he took off. Don't mind my pale feet. They need a little sun, you could say that, I guess. 
Alright, Jesus. Steven, what are you doing? This is a struggle. Got one. Oh, he's on the other side of this log. This is not a good situation here. Oh, are those thorns? Yes. Oh, I hope he's still on. He spit it, and I went in to the tree. He was on, though. I saw the splash. Pretty sure we got it on video. So, I've been out here quite a while now, flipping some reeds, and... Oh, oh, fish. Fish. Well, come on, fish. Ain't got much fight in him. Tell you that. Not a bad one. This fish is very still. Not very aggressive at all. Long though, it's a long fish. Once again on that black and blue jig. He doesn't have much fight in him. I'll tell you that. Let's see, I'm dipping him in the water. We'll get a quick weight on him. Let him go. Zero out the scale. Hook her up safely. Two pounds, five ounces. Not a bad fish at all. All right, buddy. See you later. All right, that's two fish. And uh, I think four or five misses. But it feels good to land one. Got one. Right in the weeds again, just like that. Right in the reeds. Oh, come on, buddy. Hey, relax. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I'll let you go. Yeah, there's a bigger one. Woo! Got a mouthful of mud. He picked it up right out the dirt. That's a good fish there. For here. <laughs> Healthy. All right. Look at that. Mouthful of mud. Picked that one right out the bottom there. Almost a three. Not quite, I don't think. We can clean him up a bit. Keep him dip them in the water there turn that scale on zeroed out get them under the gill two pounds two pounds 12 ounces it's another two and a half it's a stud man hey I'll take them all day came literally right here right out of these weeds get you on the way out there buddy See ya. Thank you. Have fun in those reeds. Don't fall for that fake, uh, fake crawfish thing again. This is money right now. I caught those last fish maybe five minutes apart from each other. Got another. Come on, buddy. Stay pinned. Come on. Come on now. Woo. Whoa. Right here, bud. Little guy. No. Jeez, if I could just land him, that would be great. Well, maybe not little. They're not huge, but. One pound. Like, held that one pound, 14 ounces, so. Two pounder, pretty much. Healthy fish, not bad at all. All my fish coming off that black and blue jig today. Go on, buddy. See ya. <laughs> wow, good times. We got out here, what, almost two o'clock. It 
it's now 4 30 uh, two and a half hours for fish it's a little slow but uh they're keeping it interesting i mean i've missed quite a few as well so that's my fault see how we're doing on battery pretty much out yeah pretty much out of battery I caught the shore that time. Uh, there we go. Got another. Ah, came off. Shoot, right at the boat. He looked like a good one, man. Damn, he was on shore. They're all just right up on shore like that that's the key today man they're tucked in tight so we're back at the car and i just kind of want to give you guys a rundown of what happened today how we did today we got out there it was pretty windy so i tried to find some uh, trees some shade to cover up the wind and uh we could keep a steady path and uh we did a good job of doing that i mean it was kind of tough at first like i said it's only my second time out on a kayak trying to fish and uh, there's there's a lot of struggles that come with it. <laughs> you gotta do a lot of things in a little uh, little area. The only thing that I caught my fish on today was the black and blue jig. Um, so I'd get up close to shore, kind of flip it over as close as I could get it. Sometimes I'd skip it under some structure, some trees. I had a hard time landing the fish though. I don't know if it's because I was lower to the lower to the water level, but. Uh, it was definitely a lot more tricky to keep the fish pinned in the kayak. Probably had six fish that I lost, maybe seven. You guys have already seen in the video. But uh, yeah, I just had a hard time keeping them, keeping them on the hook today. But fishing is about the adventure, about the experience, about getting out there. Even if you don't have a kayak, getting on shore. Anyways, that's about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Other than that, you guys stay slaying, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.